fellow YouTubers, this is Ozbok here. Um, today I'm going to do a, a, an open box, open the box review on this uh, Pulsar N550 rifle scope. It's a night vision rifle scope. Um, I'm probably going to also set it up on my rifle and uh, go through the basics of how it's done. Um, if you're like me, um, I live in a rural area, as you can see from outside. Excuse the bucket. Um, and therefore I've got a lot of foxes. Uh, my neighbours have got a bit of a fox problem at the moment. Tried spotlighting them, um, but unfortunately they're very jumpy and they don't come anywhere near me. Like within 100 metres, as soon as I put a flashlight on them, uh, they are gone. So I'm kind of hoping to get the, uh, the edge on these guys. So with that said, um, we'll unbox this and we'll see what comes inside this box. Well, Here we have the box. And straight away, I see it comes in a lovely little carry bag. Probably the very first thing I did notice actually is the, uh, is the weight of this thing. Um, it, it does feel quite heavy. Um, I think they specified about a kilo or something. Um, I guess once you put it on your rifle, it kind of does become quite a heavy heavy thing to lug around um, but unfortunately this is a price we pay for things that we uh, the sport that we love and enjoy seems all be nicely wrapped up nice and safe and secure Cheap generic batteries. Of course, they specify good quality rechargeable uh, knife pads. I think they do. Um, looks like it comes with a, uh, a Weaver base. Obviously, that goes on the scope. I've got the Weaver bases on my on my rifle. Some more batteries. Um, yeah. Sorry about this review, my partner's not here. Um, so I'm kind of doing all this one-handed. All right. Here it is. It certainly looks the part, doesn't it? It has arrived unbroken. Um, I'm guessing these are made in the States. I'm not sure, haven't looked. Um, all right. I shall go and get my rifle set up and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Right, now I've got my, uh, my rifle set up. Uh, it just took me 10 minutes to find my, my, rifle, um, my rifle post guide thing, whatever you want to call them. Uh, wife had moved it somewhere and I couldn't find it. Uh, thank you, wifey. Um, as with anything, uh, safety is paramount, so you make sure that your gun is 100% safe before you start. So for me, uh, bolt is out. I always make sure there's nothing in here. There's no chance of anything could possibly go wrong. Um, this is my Weatherby Vanguard 22 250, uh, just with a, a Bushnell scope, and I've got a, a light on top for when I was trying to spotlight the other night. But yeah, only managed one or two foxes, but I've seen a whole heap run away. So this is what we're going to fit it to. Um, it currently has a, a, a weaver style uh, uh, bases on it, so this should hopefully bolt straight on without too much drama. Alright, let's get this off and let's get the other one started to uh, get it on. Right, now to simply remove your scope um, from, the, from the bases or the mounts, depending on who you speak to, um, you're going to need to undo these screws here. These guys are just torque head screws. Um, they look a little bit different from your Allen key head uh, in the fact that they're um, a star shape at the end. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure on the size on this one. Uh, I think they're all fairly standard. Um, all you gotta do is just loosen one, two, three, and four off, which I've already done. Um, 
with these just remember the, uh, the original settings so you can put the scope and everything straight back on and just slot straight on and tighten down and your, uh, your scope should be pretty much there right to go straight away without having to, to re-zero but of course you you want to check your zero again just to be safe um, so I've already gone ahead and loosened them off so bang comes off treating nice and gently of course um, and there's the rifle there is. So now we'll just get to uh, assembling the uh, the Pulsar N550 and we'll get that mounted up. All right. The first step is obviously you just got to flip your uh, your night vision scope over, um, get your base, which is here. Um, comes in a plastic bag. It does come with a uh, a tool, a, an Allen key. Looks like a four mil. Um, you do have a couple of different holes that you can set it up, but I've just set it up um, in the standard three as you can see to start with. Eye relief, you've got to work that out later for yourselves. You can probably do that via the, the rail anyway. Um, most of you guys will know that. Um, just I will point out one thing. Um, these bolts don't need to be incredibly tight. We're not tightening down the, the head bolts on a battleship or anything like that. So, you know, nice, nicely nipped up. Uh, not over the top. If you are uh, a little bit worried about them coming loose, then um, maybe a little drop of Loctite on the things. And that'll stop them from vibrating loose. Yeah, just don't go too overboard, is basically what I'm saying. The last thing you want to do is start stripping out bolts on a brand new scope unnecessarily. Try and talk them up exactly the same. Um, I'm on the tools all day, fixing machinery, so I've got a pretty good feel. If you're unsure, you can always use a torque, torque gauge, torque wrench. I'm sure they'll specify in the uh, in the owner's manual. Um, I'm not going to go look for it now, but you know that's what owner's manuals are for, aren't they? If in doubt, consult them. Alright, then we'll just uh, start to mount it up on the, uh, up on the rifle. Yeah, alright, okay, well I've kind of raced ahead a little bit because um, this is quite simply a very simple process. Um, you just mount the thing onto your, uh, onto your bases. Uh, these screws here, you can uh, tighten them up finger tight to, to hold it all down. Um, basically, all you've to do now is work out your eye relief. Um, you've got a fair bit. Uh, this suction cap, uh, sorry, this this viewfinder does squash up, so you've got a bit of eye relief there. Obviously, for recoil, um, 22 250 doesn't uh, recoil too much, but if you're going to stick it in a large caliber, obviously it's uh, it's going to matter to you. Um, working out your eye relief, I shouldn't have to tell you. Um, if in doubt, um, you'll find some tutorials on on YouTube about it. I'm not going to go into details about it. Uh, the way I do it may not be the way that other people do it so it's all about uh, your preference and, uh, and the way you like to have your fire relief set up for you. So what I'll probably do now is I'll, I'll, I'll we'll set my eye relief up for myself now go through the, uh, through the motion um, and I might actually also stick on my bore cider which I have down here um, I'll stick him in the end there and I'll see how close it is uh, even before I take a shot with it. Uh, ignore the 22 shells, I just came back. Haven't put them away yet. Yeah, so yeah, we'll get started. Okay, I got this um, bore cider off eBay. Uh, eBay um, came from China, it was only like 10 or 15 dollars. Look, you don't need anything to uh, too fantastic or too crash hot, you're not going to use them very often. Anytime you use it, it's basically when you, get, when you get a new scope and you need to get kind of near enough before you can do a couple of um, shots to, to uh, finalize your scope setting. So don't go and spend hundreds of dollars on anything too flashy, you don't need it. Um, quite simply, it comes with a little laser, just shoot the laser out uh, that side. Um, comes with a bunch of little inserts for whatever caliber you've got. Basically, the insert screws into the end 
here. Then you make it nice and tight, it goes into the end of your barrel, um, sits beautifully flush, you turn it on, and you just adjust your scope to wherever the, uh, the red dot is. And I'll kind of demonstrate that now. Alright, now this is the, um, the bore sighter, the laser bore sighter now fitted to the gun. Obviously, you, once again, you make sure the bolt's out of the gun so uh, there's no chance of any misfiring. Uh, safety is number one, of course. Um, it fits very snugly into the barrel. Um, the laser part of it's tapered so it locks into the end of your barrel. So it should be a dead true uh, straight bore line, basically. And you can see the laser pointer is on. And I've got it aiming at the wall just above my television. Just there. Top left hand corner. So now we're actually looking through the, uh, the night vision scope. Um, you can see just below uh, dead center, slightly up to the left, you can see the dot. Um, you can pretty much so use that to adjust on to zero, but that's pretty close. I wouldn't muck around with that. I've actually pre-sighted this. I've been outside already. Um, I've, I've zeroed this in at 100 meters. So you know, the laser is fairly close. You just need some final adjustments once you do a couple of shots. Um, if you don't know how to adjust your scope, it's quite easy. Basically, you take a shot. Um, you're aiming for your your bullseye. Um, you've got to do the the shot while your gun's in a uh, in a stand or a holder, so you can keep it in the exact same spot. Um, after you've taken your shot, keep your rifle still aimed on the dead dead bullseye where you're aiming before, and then adjust your uh, your scope down um, into the shot where it's presented itself on the page. That's basically how I do it, and I can pretty much do it in two shots and get it just on, just on right. Third shot maybe just to uh, just to verify, but that's the quickest way that I do it. So, all right. So in, in general, it's a fairly easy thing to set up. Um, it's not too too complicated. I'm going to go and test this uh, this night vision scope out tonight. Uh, I'm hopefully going to catch a fox. Sorry, shoot a fox. Um, I don't have a digital uh, recorder which you can actually attach to these things um, just yet, so um, I won't be able to show you any of that vision, but um, you've seen how I've set it up. It's quite a simple procedure. Um, hopefully, maybe in about a year's time after I've had a, a quite a good use, I'll make another uh, review and um, see whether I think it's still worth it or not, or whether it was a waste of my money. All right, hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, review. And any questions at all, just uh, shoot me a message and I'll, uh, I'll try and answer what I can. Okay, thanks everyone.